Bangingi municipality is like no other. A place where I really felt at peace. The home of the Sama Bangingi people, who have been enjoying the bounty of the ocean for centuries. Join me as we do things like getting scared by supposedly 50 kilometer long tunnels and find the best use of floating houses. Okay. Just sheltering from the rain underneath the house. <laughs> Hello again from Zamboanga. So, we came back from Holo last night, arrived this morning, and this evening we're leaving again to a municipality that's also part of Sulu, called Bangingi, formerly Tonkil. Yes, you'll see on the map it's very, very close to Omar, where we were yesterday. However, that's not a normal route of transportation. You'd have to pack your boat for 6,000 pesos. It'll take a few hours and the waves haven't been so great lately. So we're going to take the public boat from here in Zamboanga, also overnight, and see how it works out. Oh, Malandog. Oh, Medulas. Kamaya. <laughs> and the first challenge is the gangplank to get onto the boat. Welcome to our beautiful transportation. Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and this boat is a sleeper boat. Two hundred fifty pesos for an estimated five to six hour trip. Good morning from here in Bangingi. We're back in Sulu after a day's break in Zamboanga. We're here in a port called Dungon, the main island which this municipality used to be named for is Tonkil and it's over there somewhere. I'm not really sure what's going on though. Beautiful sunrise. It's peaceful here, really peaceful. I appreciated their generosity but it was way too early in the morning. And if they can do it, then so can I. Hello, man. Thank you. And this is where we met the legendary principal for the first time. Okay. Welcome. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Bang pageant. You go like Magano. You go like model. So these guys, they're just preparing that for pageants. They have pageants here. <laughs> bang bang hantak. <laughs> bang bang hantak. Made over uh, rice, ano? Uh, rice flour ata ya. Uh oh, rice flour. Oh, kari. Oh, it's good. It's sweet. It's like pastry. See, this is flaky. It's really flaky. It's just like puff pastry. We made our way back to the port on foot. Lit up solar lights, no? Solar lights at the basketball court, that's awesome. <laughs> Next up, try to escape the rain. Ano yan? Pang ano? Pang mga bahay-bahay? Parang ano siya? Parang bolibard siya type. Ah! Road widening. A uh, promenade. Uh oh, oh. My pizza says luck. While I was getting excited about food. Oi! Appropriate with the with the rain behind it, yeah. And now we were on a speedboat going into a storm instead. This guy's got it, the rain started. Oops! <laughs> Shelter from the rain like me! <laughs> it's not really working. <laughs> so we went for plan B instead. 
reason for floating houses never complain about them ever you can shelter a boat from the rain except I think it's passing I hope okay okay now okay, yeah trust lang <laughs> oh vlogger ah. thank, you. thank you thank you my suko back on course we're on route to Tonkil <laughs> yeah. More danger of falling over my life jacket, which I'm not wearing properly. Some of the biggest fish I've ever seen just living underneath the jetty. Normally they're tiny. This is Tonkil Island proper, so this municipality used to be called Tonkil, named after this island. It's very, very long, as you can see, it goes from there to there. Barangay Luok is mostly built on the beach and we're taking a tricycle ride through these houses. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, speed bump! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where we're going. We'll work it out. On Holo Island it was cows and goats, here it's ducks. And then we ran out of road. Ah, selfie, go. Welcome to Sahaya Sandbar. And this is really, really wide. I hear Sahaya means shine. And it is, it's shiny. It's like a salt flat. It's very, very cool. What you can see in the distance is, it's like many tiny little sandbars, sandbar, sandbar, sandbar in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. This is really, this is giving me the same vibes I had in Sitankai going to Sekulan. And again, well, I guess this is a long straight island, both Sitankai and Sebuto are. It's, it's giving me the same vibes, you know? Same vibes. Hi, TikTok! <laughs> Sandbar TikTok! Ah. Across the Sulu Sea, these atolls are just so unique. <laughs> I think this is the true island life. Guess what the main livelihood is? Welcome to Barangay Segumbal. Mama, alam mo mama? Oh, alam ko nag Oh, nag try ko. Ay, anong lasa? Oh, sa bukit. Nakakahilo yan. Oh. Oh, pag hindi ka sanay. <laughs> I was already off at mama at 5:30 this morning. People here are so, so friendly. I get a really, really good feeling here. Whatever tiredness, it's gone. Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm going to introduce Sir Mar already. He's the tourism officer here. So if you want to come here, coordinate with him. So here are in these islands, 95% Sama Bangingi. That's why it's named that way. But there's also some Sama Dilaot or Bajau. Ano yan? Balat, balat. Balat. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber, no? Oh. Built on stilts above the beach are the homes of the Sama Bangingi. But the Sama Dilaot or Bajau live above the ocean. <laughs> Let's just say I've had a lot of practice walking on these. Sea cucumber, seaweed, which they'll transfer to the ocean when it's bigger. And all of the boats have little houses. Mm. Oh, 
Now it's time to take a quick look offshore. I'm back. <laughs> Hello, hello. So the Samadila are really out in the ocean. Some of them you'll see are really in the middle of the ocean. Others are just off the shore. A village of homes built on the shallow ocean bed. Hey, hi blood. <laughs> hi blood. Oh, hey, my store Tinder. My Tinder, honey. Then I was invited to come up and see inside a house. We got to I'm too big for this. <laughs> so you can see they, they weave together the nipa that way. Nipa, yeah? Oh. Nipa. Ah, coconut leaves. Coconut leaves. So. Yung buhay mo, mang ano, mang isda mo. Mang isda, yes. Meron pa dyan sa loob. Ah, mang luto, luto mo sa loob. Oh, malaki yung ano. Ay! Ah! Excuse. They dry these because marketing fresh produce can be difficult. Oh, it's just that. Oh, it's just that. It's just that. Oh, 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 it's just that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. Okay, that's my cameraman. Yes. Oh, my tsuko, my tsuko. Oh, oh. It's so interesting to see how people live out here. It's so different and this is, this is what they know. This is how they live. They really love being above the water because historically they would have lived aboard houseboats called leper. They don't anymore, they've moved to be above the water on stilts. After all, the history of the Bad Jiao is as nomads of the sea. High blood. <laughs> so you see they have an outside area for doing laundry, for drying seaweed, for yeah, their produce, for their boats, their boats all have a dock. And there's a French badge out there. It has a white flag. Only British people will get my joke. Bye bye. Bye bye. Suka. And on dry land, they've invented their own games. Christian, Christian. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so all the houses here are on solar. Whole municipality, you know, yeah. on solar. The source of energy nila solar. Oh. Solar, mm -hmm. lad. Oh. One whole municipality of... How 35,000. 35,000 people solar lang. Uh. And you see, they have refs going, they can charge batteries. They... It's well set up, right? Hello. Pangingi <laughs> also has a hostel to stay in, which is awesome. <laughs> and besides here, they prepared us some seafood. Akalako, I know crabs. Kuvacha, the eye. Kuvacha. Hey, Kuvacha, I'm going to no? Oh. I market nila sa Malusu, sa Zamboanga, Kuracha. Oh my god, it's Kuracha! Kuracha? <laughs> yeah. I've sat in front of the Kuracha for good reason. <laughs> the good thing is, this is the large sizes. No, <laughs> Samana! <laughs> Oh, mm. the best you. Oh, oh. 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 O
<laughs> but good, but good, good halang, good spicy. That's so delicious, so juicy when they're fresh. Because this is really where they come from. I'm dropping everything again. Wow. Oh, slowly, slowly. The difference between a kovacha and a mud crab is this has, it's more, the flavor's more like lobster actually. It's sweeter. But not quite lobster. Texture's still very like a crab. But the flavour, like a lobster. <laughs> and now we're in front of the police station eating pastille, which is different. It's got like noodles inside. Very, very good. And I'm not even going to try to find a reason for this next bit. <laughs> that didn't work anything like I wanted it to. Probably a good thing as well. I'd have to sponsor them a new slide if I break it. This afternoon we're going to ride a drop it, otherwise known as a flying boat, a triple engined, flat bottomed craft made locally. <laughs> Videoki on a boat, what? <laughs> this was already a very cool barangay, and this must be the best welcome I've ever had. Hey! <laughs> This is the best welcome to a barangay ever. <laughs> so if I fall in the ocean, they're gonna get capture you. A million views. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Santi. This is the best welcome I've ever had! <laughs> You're the best welcome! Okay, I don't know where we're going, but I like this place already. Welcome to Barangay Tabi Alan! Okay. You're going to school too? Going to school, okay. I, I'm disrupting classes. It's good to know, isn't it? Yes, our high school not yet Ah, okay. Intersection. Manga. Manga ilan ta onion. 80 years. Near the school are several wells, their source of water here for decades. So here, coconuts of course, squid, octopus and the flying fish. They're made into bulad. Flying fish. What am I flying fish? Apo, flying fish. Yung kabuhayan dito sa aming barangay. Mm. Pati yung, yung ano, yung seaweeds, seasonal siya, seasonal. Hindi in, siya yung ano, pang matagalan. Mm. Saan yung ano, flying fish? Nasa? Diyan sa malayo, mga 100,000 meters away. 1,000 meters. Mm. And they also have heritage buildings. Parang ilang taon siya? farmer So the original pier there, that was built by, from coral brick, which is how they often even lift up houses, build foundations for houses if they can afford it. Coral brick, now it's cemented, but that one is over 50 years old, built by the same coconut merchant, big coconut farmer. It's amazing, amazing to see places like this. Next time, we continue our Bangingi adventure, going into the forest in search of a tunnel thought to be used by the Japanese and believed to go to Bazilan, 50 kilometers away. And we go to the source of Kuracha, 